I'm Rachel Feinstein. I grew up in Bethesda, Maryland, and I started stand-up in New York City. I moved to New York City with uh, this guy that I was dating uh, who was in a band called Dick Sister when I was 17 years old. Hashtag smart life decisions. I had no chances of going to college. I didn't even take my SATs. I was just a terrible student, so. I, uh, I just thought I'd go on to New York with Dick's sister. And my parents are so liberal, they're just kind of like okay to whatever I do. You know, they would always remind me that, uh, you know, any choice I make, they'll do their best to honor it. They asked if we were gay a lot. I think they wanted us to be gay. Like, if you ever feel like you might have any questions about sexuality, they'll be Coco downstairs. And my mom was jazzed up about that. I think she was hoping. His bumper sticker just had a picture of an AK-47 and it just said, I don't dial 911. <laughs> I'm like, that is a confusing policy, Butch. <laughs> what do you do if your grandma has a stroke? Do you just shoot her in the face? I knew I wanted to do something with comedy and then I just started watching stand-up. I sat in this club called Dangerfields on the Upper East Side. And I would sit and, and the management there let me just sit in the back and watch a lot of the shows. And I would just go up and wait for all of them to get off and bother them. I would just go up and like tell them how funny they were and I, I tried to be funny. I was every worst thing you can do to a comic, yeah. I went home to visit my parents. I don't know if anybody feels like this, but when I go home, I'm okay for maybe six minutes and then I just feel weirdly furious. I was talking to my friend about this. I'm like, do you ever get like that when you go home? And he goes, oh yeah. He goes, do you know what I realized? I realized if my mom wasn't my mom, I didn't even think I'd be friends with her, right? <laughs> I'm like, obviously, that'd be very weird if you just had this intense relationship with some middle-aged diabetic woman in Pennsylvania. The first job I had was on Broadway uh, at this store called fat shoes and clothes and at the time I thought that was so cool and then I went in there and uh, the guy wanted me to fold things and just try to get people to buy clothes and both of them I was worthless at. I was trying to fold clothes and he was watching me and just looked real disgusted with me. I had a real mangled slovenly fold and I put it back and he was just he was just kind of sitting there like this shaking his head and I saw the whisperings about me they were like this isn't good and he just took me aside and he was like I don't like probably just you should go like that. And so he just kind of fired me by just sort of like an indication towards the door. Just sort of like a grossed out sound. Like the same sound you'd make when you just ate something really disgusting. That just, you're just like, he was like, nah. And then two swipes towards the door. That was all I was given.